<clears throat> okay, so there seems to be a bit of confusion in the public about how exactly a hidden blade works. And uh, that's why I decided to show you this video to show exactly how the internals of a hidden blade work. And this one's not finished, of course. But, um, I've been making one and I, I've uh, had to take a step back and do some fixing on the inside of it, so I thought I might take the opportunity to show you exactly how it works. Um, first off, there's a blade, which is this. And uh, these grooves here, this and this, are uh, meant to be there, <laughs> what they do. they uh, There's also a little flap, so I'll show you here. So that's uh, not spring-loaded, there's a, an elastic band pulling that back out. And there's the same here. So there's these two little flaps, and what happens is the blade can't get pushed up, unless of course this flap is moved in where it can, and uh, it will move all the way up, and lock in behind this one. Right, so once it moves up, clicks in. And then once this is clicked out again, and uh, yeah, and so on. So that is how the blade gets locked in. So then there's this piece. And what this does is uh, it's got a curved end piece. And that will uh, essentially, when that moves down, it'll push the flap in. So I'll just show you. If you watch the flap, it pushes it in. And it does the same on the bottom. As you can see. So, where does the force come from then? How does, how does the blade actually get pushed? So that's how you release it, and on this piece also, there are these little hooks at the end, and what they do. They are both connected by uh, these hooks here to the same elastic band. And they interact with this lump on the blade. So that... <coughs> The blade is locked in, it can't move forward. Um, this piece gets put on. And when you see this moving forwards, which it won't hold on. Okay. When this piece moves forwards, you can see that this locking mechanism, this little hook, stays put. Until, of course, that uh, little lever there is... Uh, Un undone, moved in. So the same will happen here. And there. Um, and that basically is what uh, causes the power of the blade. So this top layer here is moved forwards and backwards. But how do you activate it? I mean, I haven't played much of Assassin's Creed, but what I have seen they don't activate it by pushing something, they activate it by pulling a string. So then there's another layer on top of that, and it looks like this. And that goes over the top. And what that does is it spins around, and as it spins around, it's got a little hook on it, a little uh, thing sticking out. And every time that spins, like that, it will push this up and then pull it down, and push it up and then pull it down. So you've got a wheel, and on top of that is uh, a shape, a shape looking a little bit like this. And there's a rope that will pull this all the way around, so when you pull it, it'll turn the wheel. And when it turns the wheel, well, this moves up, and uh, when this moves up, you've got a blade that comes out. Pull the rope again, and it'll go back in. That's uh, essentially how it works. You can post questions if you want to understand more. There's really nothing else to it. That's how a hidden blade works. Thanks for watching.